details tonight in the search for a new Broward School Superintendent. School board members hoping to have the field significantly narrowed by day's end. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live at school board headquarters in Broward in Fort Lauderdale with more. Joan? And Lauren, I can tell you that the board just wrapped up their meeting. They met for about three hours and did manage to narrow their list now to four candidates. And you can see that they've determined that 15 meet that qualification and then they've recommended um, eight for potential consideration. Eight candidates made the initial cut to become Broward's next school superintendent. All have extensive education background. And we went in and checked their Google and, and their social media background and their news media background. A consulting firm came up with a list of eight, narrowing it from a pool of 39. I think we're looking for someone who can move this district forward in terms of student achievement. Broward School Board Chair Lori Levinson said the qualifications were based on community input. The search firm went out prior to having candidates apply and held focus groups in our county and came up with uh, different characteristics that these focus groups wanted to see in a superintendent and academics was obviously one of the leading things that they were looking for as well as operational ability and facility ability. Interim superintendent Dr. Vicki Cartwright has enormous support including from the Broward Teachers Union. Dr. Vicki Cartwright has been in this position for a few a few months now, and she's only done a job that has been moving forward. And I believe if she had a permanent position, so much more could be done. And we can tell you that Dr. Cartwright did make this list of four now. So it is Dr. Cartwright, two Palm Beach County administrators, Peter Licata, who is a regional superintendent up in Palm Beach County, and Keith Oswald, who is chief of equity and wellness up in Palm Beach County. And that fourth candidate is Michael Gall. He's a former deputy chancellor from Washington, D.C. So the next step is to take these four now. They're going to be interviewed next week. They'll narrow it down to two. And then in about two weeks' time, uh, we believe we will have the name of the new superintendent. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.